kids, good morning! It's me again, Teacher Beverly. This week, we will learn about time. But before that, let's review the song, The Days of the Week. Are you ready, kids? Hmm. Very good. Let's sing it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, the day I love the best. Let's sing it one more time. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, the day I love the best. Very good, kids. I hope you're having fun and I hope you can still remember that song. Okay? Very good, kids. Good job. This week, we will learn about time. Okay. If we say time, what comes into your mind? Very good. You can see a clock. Very good. Okay. And what can you notice in the clock? Very good. There are numbers. And until what numbers are there in the clock? Let's see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very good. What else can you notice? Very good. There's a short hand and a long hand. Very good. And if we say time, if we say clock, it will tell you what time is it. Very good. Are you ready to listen to the video, kids? Hmm. Very good. Good job. We tell the time so we know when different events happen throughout the day. Whether during the morning, noon, evening or night. This is an analogue clock. The blue highlighted area is called the clock face. The red lines are called hands. No, not these types of hands. We have two types of hands on the clock. This is the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. The other type of hand is called the hour hand. This hand lets us know what hour it is and it is the shorter hand. The numbers on our clock face represent the hours. Look at the minute hand zoom around the clock. We've sped up how long it would usually take. You will notice that both hands are spinning in the same direction. We call this clockwise. What's the time? When the longer hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the number 12 and the smaller hand, the hour hand, is pointing to one of the hour numbers, we call this o'clock. For example, when the minute hand points to 12 and the hour hand points to 1, we say it's 1 o'clock. But when the minute hand, the bigger hand, gets to the number 6, then we say half past. You can see that when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, our hand is pointing to the number 7, we say the time is half past 7. Can you tell the time? Is it 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock or is it half past 3? It's not half past 3. It's 3 o'clock. What time is it now? Is it 10 o'clock, half past 12, or is it 12 o'clock? It's not half past 12. Hint, look at where the minute hand is pointing. It's 10 o'clock. The big hand is pointing at 12, so we say o'clock and put it after the number that the small hand is pointing to, which is 10. That means it's 10 o'clock. What is the time now? 
Is it half past six, six o'clock, or is it half past four? It's not six o'clock because the minute hand isn't pointing to the number twelve. It's not half past six as both hands would be pointing at six. It's half past four. Well done. Okay, kids. Before we end, let's sing again the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, the day I love the best. Very good, kids. Good job. I hope you're having fun. And this week, we will not see each other because it's the schedule of K2. So see you next week, kids, and have fun. And I hope you will review your lesson. Okay, kids, don't forget also to answer your worksheet, okay? See you next time. Bye!